everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today's tutorial I will show you how to make this simple quick and easy bee stuffy or bee amigurumi um, you don't need a whole lot of yarn for this project you just need like um, scraps of yarn that laying around so for this one, I used a, a lemon colored yarn, black and white, and they're all from Red Heart Super Saver Medium Wasted Weight Yarn. And you also need a bit of toy stuffing to stuff the bee. Alright. And for this project, I've used, I use a 3.0 millimeter crochet hook. You will need a scissor to cut your yarn with, a stitch marker, a darting needle, and <laughs> a pencil just to use the eraser. So when you're stuffing the bee and there's only a small hole, you could use the pencil to push the stuffing in. And that way you could shape your bee much better that way. Alright, so we're going to start with yellow. And we are going to make a magic ring. Alright. And we are going to chain one. And we're going to put six single crochet into the ring. So, one, two, Three, four, five, and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet. And we're going to go ahead and pull that tail to close the ring all right and that completes round one for round two we're gonna go into the very first single crochet we did so this is chain one right here and then this is the first single crochet so we're gonna go under that stitch I could go under there and we are going to make two single crochets so that is one so this is the beginning of round two so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that with my stitch marker So we put one there and we need one more single crochet into that same stitch. So we're going to go back to that same one and make our second one. Now for each of the remaining stitches, we're going to put two single crochet in each one. So we go into the next stitch here. I'm going to put two single crochet. That's one. Two. And into the next one. One. Two. 
to the next stitch. One. Two. And the next one. One. Two. And the very last one, we put two single crochet. That's one. And that's two. At the end of round two, we should have 12 stitches here going around. So if we count our stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12 where this stitch marker is sitting all right for round three i'm just gonna remove the stitch marker here we're going to put one single crochet into that very first stitch okay and i want to put the marker back on my very first stitch of round three okay and on that second stitch we're gonna put two single crochet that's one that's two and to the next stitch we're going to put one one single crochet okay and into the next we are going to put two single crochet so that is the repeat for round three so you do one single crochet on that first stitch and on that second stitch you're gonna put two single crochet and you will repeat that all the way till you reach the last stitch before the stitch marker so where were we so we need to put one here and then two in the next one next and two in the next one and go back to that same one and one into the next stitch And two in the next. This one. And two. One in the next. Oops. Sorry, my yarn was splitting there. So we'll put one here. Okay, and then two in that last stitch. One. Oops. And two. Right at the end of round three, we should have 18 stitches going around, including where this stitch marker is sitting and for round four we're going to single crochet the first two stitches so in this first stitch we're going to put one single crochet and I want to put my stitch marker here That's the first stitch, and into the second one, 
we are going to put one single crochet there we go and on that third stitch we're going to put two single crochet so I'm going to go in there and put two single crochets okay that's one and that's two and single crochet the first two stitches again so one and into the next stitch we we'll put one as well and into the third stitch we're going to put two single crochet oops okay here we go That's one. And two. And that is the repeat for round four. So single crochet the first two stitches. And on the third stitch, put two single crochet. So you repeat that all the way around until you reach the stitch marker and I will meet you back once I <laughs> did do mine all right I completed round four by single crochet the first two stitches and then two single crochet on the third stitch and I repeat that all the way around till I reached this stitch marker here and at the end of round four we should have a total of 24 stitches going around okay and at the for round five we are going to put one single crochet in that first stitch and I want to put my stitch marker back And in this every stitch, we are going to put one single crochet all the way around. So we're just going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches. And we will do this all the way around until we hit the stitch marker. And I will meet you back once I've done mine off camera. Right? So I've completed round five by putting one single crochet in each of the stitches here all the way around. And we should still have 24 stitches going around. So for round six, we are going to go ahead and fasten off this color. So I chain one. I'm going to cut the yarn. And make a knot right there. Okay. And I'm going to start. Now we're ready to bring in the black yarn so okay the black yarn here and we are just going to attach it by inserting our hook into that very first stitch and it's going to chain one and on that same stitch we're going to work one single crochet Here we go. Hope you guys could see that. 
and in each of the stitches here we're going to work one single crochet so we're just gonna put one single crochet in each of the stitch in each of the stitches all the way around and I will meet you back at the end of round six all right I just completed round six with the block yarn by putting one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way around and I still have 24 stitches going around to begin round seven we're going to put one single crochet in that very first stitch and I'm going to go ahead and weave this yellow yarn back whoops okay let me go ahead and reinsert my hook there we go so one single crochet right there and I want to put my stitch marker here since I can't really <laughs> tell anymore which is the beginning and which is the end so for round seven we're just going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches here so we do this all the way around till we hit this stitch marker so I'll meet you back once I've put one single crochet in each of the stitches here all right, I have just completed round seven by com putting one single crochet in each of the stitches till I hit this stitch marker here. And I still have 24 stitches going around. Now I'm ready to switch back to my yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain one here. And I'm gonna cut my yarn. And pull this all the way through. Alright. Alright. For round 8, we are back on the yellow. So, just gonna remove this stitch marker here. And we're gonna attach it by putting our hook on the very first stitch where the stitch marker was sitting so I'm going to put that in there I'm going to chain one and we're going to go back to the same stitch and put one single crochet there we go and we're going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches here all the way around so so just put one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way around and I will meet you back at the end of round eight all right I've finished round eight and I come all the way around by putting one single crochet in each of the stitches here and I still have 24 stitches going around and I'm ready to begin round nine 
round nine we're going to the first stitch here and we'll put one single crochet And I want to put my stitch marker back so I know where my first stitch is at. And we are just going to continue putting one single crochet in each of the stitches here until we reach the stitch marker. go ahead and put one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way around and I will meet you back at the end of round nine all right I have finished round nine by putting one single crochet in each of the stitches here and I still have 24 stitches going around now I'm ready to begin round 10 so I need to switch back to black here so I'm going to chain one here and cut my yellow yarn And I'm gonna pull this all the way through to make that knot there. Okay. All right, so I went ahead and removed my stitch marker off camera and I'm gonna insert my hook to the very first stitch down here. And I'm gonna attach my block yarn. And we are going to chain one here. Right. and we're gonna go back to that same stitch and we're gonna put one single crochet all right now we're gonna put one single crochet in each of the stitches here all the way around so for round 10 we're just going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches. Okay, go ahead and put one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way around. And I will do mine off camera and I will meet you back at the end of round 10. All right, so I just completed of round 10 by putting one single crochet all the way around and I still have 24 stitches going around and I'm ready to begin round 11. So for round 11, we're just gonna continue putting one single crochet in each of the stitches here. So go into the first stitch and put one single crochet okay and I want to put my stitch marker back so I know that this is my first stitch of round 11 okay and I'm just going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way around till I hit my stitch marker so go ahead and put one single crochet all the way around and I will meet you back once I've done mine all right so I just finished round 11 by putting one single crochet 
in each of the stitches here all the way around and I still have 24 stitches at the end of round 11 so for round 12 I need to switch back to my yellow yarn so I'm going to chain one here and I'm going to cut my yarn and pull that all the way through to make a knot there and I need my yellow yarn all right for round 12 it's gonna we need our yellow yarn so we are going to go into the first stitch here and attach our yellow yarn by chaining one all right and we go back to that same stitch and we should do a single crochet all right for round 12 we're just going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches so I go ahead and do mine off camera again we're just going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches here and I will meet you back at the end of round 12. All right, I am at the end of round 12 here, just putting my last two stitches. All right, so that is round 12 and let me see here we should have 24 stitches here and let's count 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 22 23 and 24 so we're right on track and now we're ready to begin round 13 so for 13 we're still on the yellow yarn and we'll be on the yellow yarn for the rest of the body so we're not changing colors anymore from here on out and this is for the body so for round 13 we're gonna go into the very first stitch And we will put one single crochet. I want to go ahead and read this in here. Okay. And that is the very first stitch of round 13. So we are going to, or I'm going to place my stitch marker there so I know that is the very first stitch. And I'm just going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches till I hit that marker. So again, for round 13, put one single crochet in each of the stitches. And I will meet you back at the end of round 13. All right, I'm back and I just finished of round 13 by putting one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way around. And I still have 24 stitches going around. So for round 14 we are going to 
single crochet in each of the stitches here. So we're going to go into the first stitch and put one single crochet. And I'm going to put my stitch marker there. So I know that is my first stitch of round 14. Okay. And for round 14, we're just going to put one single crochet all the way around. So go ahead and put one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way around and I will meet you back at the end of round 14. Alright, I have finished round 14 by putting one single crochet in each of my stitches here and I still have 24 stitches going around. Alright, for round 15, we're just gonna start to decrease our stitches here. So, for to start round 15, we're going to put two single crochet together here. So go into the first stitch and we're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop and go into the second stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. We yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, and that is single crochet two together or single crochet decrease. And now I want to put my stitch marker here so I know that is this is the very first stitch of round 15. And we're going to single crochet the next two stitches. So, go into the next stitch, I'm going to put one single crochet, All right, and into the next stitch, we'll put one single crochet, All right, and we're going to single crochet two together, so, into the next stitch, yarn over, Pull up a stitch and into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. And single crochet the next two stitches. So one. And two and that is the repeat for round 15 so you're gonna single crochet two together the first two stitches and single crochet one single crochet the next two stitches so I'm gonna show it to you again so go into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, and that is the single crochet two together. And we're going to put one single crochet the next two stitches. That's one, and here's our second one, and you do that all the way around, and I will meet you back at the end of round 15. Okay, I completed 
round 15 and by single crochet two together and single crochet the next two stitches so I did that all the way around and I have 18 stitches at the end of round 15 and at this point you could start filling the body with toy stuffing and I'm just gonna pull this stitch here so I don't lose it and I'm gonna put just a little bit of stuffing in there um, just to shape up the bottom so as you can see I don't know if you can see but there's a little bit in there okay I won't put too much because I'm not done with the body just yet Right, I think that's enough for now so I'm gonna go ahead and put my hook back onto this loop here and now I'm ready to begin round 16 okay for round 16 we're going to put single crochet two together so we're going to go into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop and into the next stitch yarn over and pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull to all three loops and that is the single crochet two together or single crochet decrease and I want to go ahead and put my stitch marker on to that very first stitch that we just made and into the next stitch we're going to do one single crochet okay and single crochet decrease so again into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all three and that is the single crochet two together or single crochet decrease and into the next stitch we're going to put one single crochet so And that is the repeat for round 16. So the repeat is single crochet, two together, and one single crochet the next stitch. And you repeat that all the way around till you hit this stitch marker. So go ahead and do that. And I'll do mine off camera and I will meet you back here. I just finished round 16 by single crochet two together and one single crochet the next stitch I now repeat that all the way around and I have 12 st stitches left at the end of round 16 and I went ahead and put more stuffing in here off camera and shape the bottom part a bit there now for round 17 we're going to put single crochet two together so into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop into the second stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all three loops okay and that is the first stitch and I want to put my stitch marker there 
and we'll just repeat that all the way around. So we're just gonna decrease single crochet and decrease for round 17. So to the next stitch yarn over pull up pull up into the second stitch yarn over pull up a loop and yarn over pull through all three and we do this all the way around so Go ahead and do yours. I'll do mine off camera here and I will meet you back at the end of round 17. I just finished round 17 by single crochet two together all the way around and I have six stitches here left and let me see here. And as you can see here, this is not fully stuffed and we have a very small hole. So what we can do is pull this stitch or this loop out and we can stuff our body with toy stuffing and you just need the a pencil with a, an eraser so we could push the stuffing in. Uh, let me see here. Let's grab this one. And we just push this in here. And it's slowly going in because we have a very small hole. Okay. there here we go and I think we just need a little bit more okay and I'm gonna do mine off camera here so my video won't be too too long okay and I went ahead and stuff mine off camera so I'm gonna go ahead and my hook back and we are going to do single crochet two together three times so we're gonna go into the first stitch here yarn over pull up a loop into the second one yarn over and pull up a loop and pull to all three and that's one and into the next one single crochet decrease and pull to all of that now we only have two loops two stitches left so we are going to single crochet decrease the last two so one there and one here Oof, this is getting too too tight 
so all right so we have three loops on our hook and we pull through all three and we cut our yarn here I'm gonna leave like a fairly long tail and put that all the way through and we're gonna actually stitch this in into the body all right so i need my darting needle here we go here Oof. There we go. And just keep. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. And it's gonna keep on weaving this in here. Oops, guys. Come on. And I think I want to weave in one more time towards the bottom here, and then I'm going to cut the yarn. Okay. Cut the yarn here. And here we go. And we are done with the body here and now we're going to work on the wings and we need our white yarn now all right for the wings we need the white yarn and I already made one off camera here so we need to make a magic ring okay I'm just adjusting my ring here and we are going to chain one and we are going to make six single crochet into the ring so one two three four Oops. Five and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna go ahead and pull on that tail to close the ring. And for round two, we're just gonna put two single crochet in each of the stitches. So on the first stitch, we're going to put two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. First stitch is right here. Okay. And single crochet. And I want to put my stitch marker here so I know that that is the first stitch of round two. Right, and go back to that same stitch and put our second single crochet. Yep, and we're just gonna put two single crochet in each of the remaining stitches.
Number six. Okay, so my camera stopped recording here for a second and I think I caught it in time. So we were putting um, two single crochet in each of the stitches here. Um, I still have two to do, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that. One set. That's two for that stitch, and one more stitch here. And that's two. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and remove my stitch marker here. And I'm going to slip stitch onto the next stitch here. Oops, here we go. And then I'm going to leave a long tail. And cut my yarn. Okay, and we fold that tail all the way through. Okay. And for this tail here, I'm just gonna go ahead and weave this in to the back of this wing so so my hole they won't won't open up Okay, I think I made it too too tight there. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this yarn. Alright, and that is the first wing. Go ahead and make your second wing and I will meet you right back here. Alright. We got our two wings here, and I already weave in the other end as well on my other wing. We got one fairly long tail and one short one. So what we can do is stitch this together. So I'm just going to mash this two together. And... I'm just going, so you guys could see, I don't know if you guys could see the stitches here. I'm going under the stitch, the first stitch here. And this stitch here as well. So I'm just grabbing one loop on each of the wings. So we can do that there. Okay, and now on to the next one. And we are just grabbing one of the loop closest to each other. So Here we go, just one loop there. Here 
we go. And I think I need to do one more here. And on our third one here, we're going to go into one loop and go into one loop here. All right? And that will attach that wings there. And now we can attach it to the body. I am just going to attach it right about here where that black stripe is sitting. So I'm going to start there. Oh, sorry. I have a little cold. Okay. There we go. It just sits nicely there and then we're gonna go back to that same hole we just came out of on this side and I want to touch the other end so just go under where the wing is sitting at and I'm gonna go through one of these loop okay there we go and pull that all the way through okay and now we can pick any of the hole here or stitches since this is white so it'll blend in with the wings so I'm just gonna pick a middle hole here and then bring my needle to the other side. Okay, so now that's the wings attached and it's not going anywhere. We could weave the rest of the white tail in here if we can um, you know what I'm just gonna cut it right here and just poke that in there there we go and I'm just gonna weave my other tail end in into the body here <clears throat> all right and I'm gonna cut this yarn there we go and I have a white sticking out, so I'm just going to poke that in there. And that is the wings attach. We just need to put the, <laughs> the eyes. So let me grab my black yarn. All right, for the eyes, we need the black yarn. And you can go ahead and pick which side you want the face to be. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. And I'm going to make this the eye and this the eye. Alright. So I'm just going to go back and forth between that stitch there just so I can make it thick there we go and let's see I think I need one more here
there we go and I think that is enough there and then I'm gonna go ahead and move my yarn to the other side here so I go into this stitch and out here okay I want my eye to be up there. Okay. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back and forth a few times here. This will be my eye. And I think. That is the same thickness. So, go ahead and weave this into the back. Okay. And weave this to the bottom. There we go. And we cut this yarn. Now we do the same thing to the other tail. Move that there. And I think that's too short, so I'm just gonna cut it here. bit of the black one is sticking out so I'm just gonna poke that right in there okay and that is my finish be stuffy here if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already I do crochet tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you won't miss my future uploads. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.